very good morning class today we have started we will learn the, the importance of economic development it's a important chapter for civics so yes you come to know that we are discussing we are going to discuss today about civics uh, with this chapter teach will teach us the economic scenario economic crisis what is economic why it is necessary for us for our family for our country and india how india is making progress in economic india is progressing in each other thing but what kind of progress and how is how india is doing very well and how we are going to be contributing for economic development of our country let's start first of all i'll write down the topics i'll make sure that the topics must be visible and here i will explain these topics what to what Yes. First, we will discuss about economic development, and I will explain what is economic development. You know what is economy? Economy means a word which is used for money, for lots of money, for economy. Also, a word which is used to show the living standard of country, living standard of a people. the basic requirements and the basic needs that he or she is fulfilling for her and his family so this is called economic development but also let me continue let me explain more and more that economic means what uh, as, as i said earlier that it means a uh, monetary department can be considered as an economy means our earning and we expect uh, we spend money for our family and our family spend on us we used to spend on our education so this is called economic development if we are more then we can spend more if we have a good you know a powerful business and good source of money good source of you know earning and that's a constant like government job like a own business whatever many more things then our economic development will be far better also we will discuss that our in, what is also is our increase in per capita income increase in per capita income we will discuss this word in per capita income thoroughly now just at this moment just uh, understand the main theme main theme of this economy develop means increase in our per capita income and improvement in the living standard of people also improvement in the national income of india and living standard of uh, the improvement of living standard of people of india so we can say that the, the developing india is a developed country and the development of economy is going very well means economically india is doing very well and now total income of the country is called as a national income total income of the country is called as a national income means what you are earning for your family but you are contributing yourself towards country suppose 
if lots of wealthy people, there are lots of wealthy people in India, they used to pay tax. Some of them are paying tax, and I think many of them are pay, paying tax, but some of them are not paying tax. So, because of that tax, because of the paid tax, our road, street lights, and all these things that are in the government, that are public properties, they are built properly, they are enhanced, they are in, in the infrastructure is also going very well. So, because of this, our economic development that shows our economic development. Suppose if the public are earning more and more and they do not you they, they will if they will not pay tax, then the government cannot have money and they will not you know spend money on, on the infrastructure. So because of this because of this the economic development will directly go downward. This was the national income. How the national income comes? National income comes from the tax that is being paid to the government and by other things also. Because from that tax, government used to pay scholarships to students also and monthly wages to some, you know, widows and many more. Because they have to perform lots of activities for that, that much tax. So because of that, they have been mandatory for the wealthy persons to pay tax compulsory. So, like Kapil Sharma used to pay 15 crore, you know, more 15 crore makes 1000 family to have education, better education, better lifestyle, and uh, uh, two square meals, one square meal. Okay, so because of these reasons, and this is called national income. Now, by dividing the national income by the country with the total population of the country, we can have per capita income. Now, per capita income. We have per capita income. This is the most important question that has been asked in one mark. So prepare it very well that what is per capita income and how it can be calculated. How it can be calculated. So per capita income is what? If the total national income is divided by total population, then per capita income can be find and can be calculated. Means total national income of national income of all of the people, all the people. By divided by total population, then per capita income is generated. So, this per capita in, uh, income plays a vital or an important role for the development, economic development. Means, if we have, I think, 135 crore public, we have 135 crore, the population is 135 crore, I think, and our per capita income is. Uh, I don't know the exact data, but it may be something 1000 crore rupees more than that. So that is, suppose, let me take an example, that if the, our per capita income per annum is 135 crore, and our population is 135 crore, means per person it will, get, it will get 1 crore. Just imagine, how is it possible? That will make our country very richest. So, this was, this is the scene. So this is called per capita income and I don't think it is possible that uh, this much amount will be deducted. Now, also <coughs> it includes uh, basic necessities like food, shelter, transportation, lifestyle, cloth, education, health service and many. Okay, this considered health, education, transport and the most essential requirements of a middle of a family it considered. Now also we have but increase in national income. See it does let me means you know the, we should go to the history also again we have to go to the history also. Then in in, in, in ancient times, not in ancient times, during the 80s and 90s with the Mahatma Gandhi that national income was not so good because we were damaged by the Britishers profoundly. But after that, after the independence, our national income was you know built up, was built up very well because all the people were they were free to do their own kind of job. But yes, at that time the skills management and the skill was you know there was a lack of skills and education purposely. People used to, you know, they were forced to do labor only. 
so that was the time and after that slowly slowly our country becomes very well very developing still we have a, we are a developing country not developed country so we will discuss this developing country and also uh, that after independence that increase in the method of earning money and uh, more and more advantage more and more opportunities people got more and more opportunities because of that our national income was building up and because of that particular income was also building that this was the main reason now we have features of economical developing country It is visible. Now we will discuss about features of developing country. Yes, India is a developing country. How we can say? We will discuss this properly with all the important points. Negative. Now, first, India is a developing country because you know what? According in 2004, in 2004, according to the World Bank, it has been announced that the country. Who has less than 790, 734, 5, 735 per capita income annually, then less than 735, then it can be considered as a developing country. And our per capita income is less than dollar 735. Less than dollar 735. You, know, you can understand how bad it is. How bad it is. Now let's discuss the point that are considered as such that are the you know, factors for uh, which shows a country developing and because of that particular factors only the countries become developing and developing. First, its, its less per capita income is less per capita income means the population is too much and the persons who are earning and the, pop the populations who are not earning and the population who are earning the ratio is not properly balanced let's take an example that in a family there are five to six persons five to six persons who were you know they are not they are no like they don't have any kind of uh, occupation or employment or anything they are you know just they are used to seek idle and uh, they eat okay so that only one person have one kind of employment and job so that is the you know uh, drastic ratio of a, a person who is who have employment and not uh, the person who is earning and not earning and the not earning they are the ch children and the older persons they they don't have any kind of job they are not any kind they don't earn something so they are like yes okay we consider that person as a you know that are not qualified for this team, this term earning person or employment, employed they can't be considered as an employed but the person who are just graduated or who were just you know uh, 
doing uh, studying during that they can do some part time jobs so they can be considered as an employed but they are not doing them they are they are not earning they are dependent on the family and that only that particular particular person who earns particular amount and he spend 90 to 80% on family money so this is the simple example that can be answered from us now just imagine we have a 135 crore people in our country so just imagine how much bad the scenario is that persons who are earning and the persons who are not earning that ratio is not properly balanced because of this and now population growth also the this the per capita income is the second point is the standard of living is also become low and standard of living education transportation health all these points are considered as in a per capita income all these points are the per capita income and the national income is not generated just from the tax one it generated from the export import also let me correct myself that national income is not generated from the tax only it is generated from the export and import not tax on import export suppose whatever we are building in our country and uh, originating like what like food clothes and anything and that export that is going to be export in different countries then we can earn money from them so because of these are the reasons that is called per capita income and national income shows that the people who are living in india have a rich type of standard of living suppose here we have 60 to 75 persons 60 to 65 percent are middle class 25 to 30 percent are high class and remaining are poor family so 60 persons covers the most of the population of india and that shows that the division of people of india is a medium class and because of this reason also we are in a developing country now we have second topic population growth we have population growth population growth is also one of the serious problem that we are facing in suppose in a family if they have at least one child it's benefit for them and it's benefit for the country also because one child means it is not a child it is a full plan of expense 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 okay so package of expense and we don't know that after 20 years how he or she is going to earn how much okay so that's the second point from the birth from the birth to the graduation the amount of the amount of money that has been expended that has been spent on that child is you know too much so one child is benefit because his health is education is lifestyle and he or she then hers for his requirements needs demands they have to parents have to fulfill that demands also so if one child takes too much money then why you are you, know, you should have more than two child in in the ancient times uh, family of parents have more than five to six boys and more than five to six children what the hell is this they are building up for what in what so because of this reason now has been uh, you know population control activities has been done performed and uh, you know uh, people were aware for this people are aware for this that uh, you should come, you should not have more than two children otherwise it will create a lot of problem financially and mentally because nowadays you know the price is rising and if the price is rising in our economic source is not that much then also but it is essential for us that we have to fulfill their needs and demand this education requirement fees of the schools is necessary uh, snacks and uh, you know uh, play and uh, clothes and medicines they are the most essential things education health and clothes these are the most key requirements whether you are earning good or not you have to pay for this because this is your child this is your mistake one kind of so this is the reason that uh, it shows the population growth as the population growth is the one of the serious problem now we have a dependence on agriculture dependence on agriculture means what suppose 
our country is a primary sector. Our country, is, you know, it's agri agriculture based country because approximately 50 to 70 percent occupation is originated from the agriculture only. And uh, industries, plants, mostly dependent on the agriculture. And our area in agriculture sector is only weak. We, in the previous lecture, we have discussed how you know uh, the scenario is not properly uh, aware, aware uh, uh, in front of us, and it is, the scenario is not good also. So uh, we are dependent on the agriculture, and uh, you know in foreign countries they have capitalism. We in America it's capitalism. The more you will uh, work hard, you will work. The more you will work, the more you will earn. But in India it's not like that. And we are dependent on agriculture, and we are directly we are dependent on the nature. And nature is uh, you know it's like now we have a uh, good relation. Now we don't have a good relation between human being and nature, as you can see in the environment nowadays. So we are dependent on the nature like water, rain, hot water, and many more. And that is the only factor that is that has been discouraged uh, in agriculture. So, because of these reasons, we are the we saw the rain is see it's a monsoon it's a season of monsoon it's not raining outside. Means we can say that how it will affect agriculture. And because of this only, we are not going growing very well. More than sixty percent of population dependent. More than 60%, and 26% of uh, national income is originated from, from agriculture. Just see the difference 60% dependent on agriculture, but only 20-25% are originated. Now, for unequal distribution of income, unequal distribution of income, this is also the rich gets more richer and poor gets more poor. Middle class remains as it is. They have to just shake their hand and watch the rich and salute and then you know for waves or for words that the middle class already is off because of the richer and the poor. Most of the amount has been you know factors because of the factors of production. You know, uh, simple concept I would like to explain you that how this person becomes more. Suppose they uh, plant an industry or uh, you know they construct an industry and they started a new business. Suppose an uh, owner of uh, you know a school or a structure company or whatever, he hires employees for him to run the business, to run the uh, that uh, particular activity, and whatever he earns profit, whatever he earns profit, then profit becomes the salary of that particular person means he is his actual amount he has been transformed in twice and thrice the amount of his wealth but the 20 to 10 percent of profit has been given uh, in the it's been, you know is given in the form of salary to the person this is the portion he works so much hard but he earns that much amount only because he works for his profit only. The upper profit we can see. The actual amount is transferred to his account only. Because of this, he runs more and more. He becomes more and more richer and middle class remains middle class. Because the earning source is a constant. Is a constant. Now, unemployment. Country shares 40% of national and poor has 20% only share. Means in terms of India, in terms of the country, if we will speak that 20% to poor people, that the national income originated from the uh, poor people is only 20%, they don't have enough income for this. And similarly, uh, rich person 60% and middle class. Now we have unemployment. We have We have unemployment. That's called Berosgarity. If a person don't earn anything and he is you know the age he has crossed the age of 20 25 he is capable of earning but he is not getting his you know class the job which defines his class and his quality of job then this called unemployment suppose if he uh, graduated from engineering college and uh, he is willing to do 
a job in the engineering company, but uh, the companies are not responding uh, for uh, them and, and any, any more reasons. So, he what he will do? He will just sit idle in, the, in his room. But suppose if there is a vacancy in school, any private companies, any other marketing companies, so he will not join that company. He will he will say that this kind of job is not good for me. It's for you know teacher. It's for commercial. I am engineer. What I will do? I will do only engineering or construction work. So that is the thinking is one of the important. This is called educated learning. Now the person who has not taught, not, not learn anything, who is not a graduated, who is not educated, then what he will do? He have to, he is forced to do any kind of job. He is forced to do any kind of job. And then also he is not paid very well. He don't have enough. Now, poverty, poverty means what? Well, it means uh, the person who Actual definition of poverty can be seen as can be written as a person who is not able to fulfill his requirements like shelter, clothes, one square of meat for him, for him and for his family. Then it is called poor, or then that this thing is called poverty. This is the serious problem. This is the serious problem. That because of this reason, our country is a developing country. We have lots of poverty. Poverty in terms of like a middle class family, more, more middle class family can be considered as a poor family only. Because in middle class family, they are earning a particular amount and their expenditure turns into expenditure goes like in the health, school, they are not saving for them. Just take an example of this corona. This corona has a, you know, you know, shake the people financially and economically. Suppose the, if the person has earned lots of money and he is wealthy, so it will not, the corona and this pandemic scenario will not affect. But if the person belongs to a middle class family and he, you know, he lost his job now and he's, all the spend, all the you know, savings has been, he, he used that spend that spending, uh, he used that money for during this six months. Now this is the moment that he has to forcefully do uh, what uh, his, uh, which kind of job he don't want to do. He has to force, forcefully you have to perform the, that job. So because of these reasons, that's an unemployment. And suppose if he is not getting any kind of job in the in this month and this duration. Then he have to face some problem, some crisis, and uh, that is said as a poverty. Now, what he will do? First of all, he is will do labor work in the labor work is not available also. Then he have to migrate, forcefully migrate to his own land, where he can go. So he can you know sell his own land and uh, he can run his own business. This is the second point. If the person has some kind of property like this, if the person does not. Concept does not have any kind of property like this, what he will do. So this was the main reason. Also, now we have insufficient infrastructure facility. We have insufficient infrastructure facility. And that <coughs> infrastructure facility. Just a second. Plus, uh, we will discuss the features of developing economy in the next lecture from the topic of insufficient infrastructure of interest, insufficient infrastructure facility. We will continue from the topic of insufficient infrastructure facility in the next lecture in part 2. Thank you, your lecture is over.